Welcome everyone. As you all know, SolidEdge is a powerful parametric software from Siemens Corporation used to design mechanical components and assemblies. Today, we will learn about the ability to control part features using variable table in SolidEdge. Variable table is similar to equations in SolidWorks and allows the user to program interdependent part features which can then be changed or controlled by putting in simple variables later on. So for this demonstration, let's start by creating a simple extruded box and changing its dimensions using variable tables. So let's go to new and create a standard part. For this demonstration, I'm just gonna create a simple extruded part, a cube basically and then link its dimensions to a variable and control them using a variable table. Since the part is created in synchronous module, by default its dimensions are unlocked so that you can easily extend or shorten them. But in order to control these features using a variable table, we will have to lock them. So click on the dimension and click lock. Lock. Now go to tools and go to variables. So now you have access to your variable table. And here you can see the dimensions that we have created. If I click on one of them, it highlights the dead dimension. So let's rename them first. Now, if I change any of these values in my variable table, they will automatically change and reflect in, on my parts. Let me move this to side. Let's change the thickness to 10. Now, if I program the, uh, the piece so that its height is dependent on its width, that is its height is equal to two times the width. So now you see my height is dependent on width and I cannot change my height anymore. So if I change the width to let's say five inches, my height would automatically change to 10 and if I change it to 20 my height will automatically change to 40 we can similarly create features and have them dependent on variables but in order to do that we will have to create those features in order let's start by creating a protrusion
once we are done with the sketch Now in order to control the, the dimensions for the features created in param ordered form are automatically locked and you don't have to lock them manually. So if I click on this and click on dimensions, you see that they are already in red, which signifies that they are locked and are accessible in variable table. But if you want to have the ability to suppress these features, you would have to create a suppression variable. For that, you will have to right click on the feature and add the suppression variable now you will have the uh, the access to that variable in the variable tables now if i go to variable tables and you can see i have protrusion one sketch and protrusion four in my variable table so if I can, this is the suppression variable that we just created. I can rename that if I want. If I click change the value to one, the feature will be suppressed. As you can see. And if I change it to zero, it will be unsuppressed. Now, if I want to control the dimensions that I will have to do in the sketch, protrusion one sketch. So right now, my the internal diameter of the cylinder is two inches and external dimensions is four. Now, if I want to create a relation between these two, I can write a simple formula in which the internal di diameter is equal to one third of the external diameter. So you can simply click on the uh, on the feature as well and it will automatically pick that up and write it down in the formula so if i change now the external diameter only the internal diameter will change automatically let's say i change it to six you will see the internal diameter changes to two now if i write that if my external diameter goes above six my feature will be suppressed Now, if I change my external diameter to 7, you will see that the feature will automatically be suppressed. So, here it is friends, a small demo on how to use variable tables, a powerful feature in Solid Edge to create and control your parts simply using few variables. In the next video, I will show you how to control these variable tables using an Excel sheet. Thank you. Please drop down your comments and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.